Hello, hello, hello everyone! What is going on? Hopefully everybody's having a wonderful afternoon. Thank you all for joining as our first first comers into the stream. It's always interesting to see who floods in after. <laughs> I always keep track of like who's the first one in just to, you know, because I'm a creep. But anyway, thank you everybody for being here early. Um, I got a couple decks I want to test out, one of them being Handlock. Haven't actually played Handlock in some time now. And um, very interesting deck, uh, and um, something we haven't really seen a lot of lately. Uh, so with that said, for everybody, what up K6, what up Bram, what up Stellar, how you doing JH, and how you doing Lonely Flame, <laughs> Lonely Flame and JV, always nice to have you in the chat, my friend. Alright, so with that, let's head on over to the game here, and let's see what's going on. Let's pull up the deck list for you guys. Uh, also, we had some requests to make my ass smaller, because you guys couldn't see the... Um, the cards in my hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, I'm, we're gonna minimize me, or not minimize, but you know, make smaller. So let's go on to this side here. I just made this. Uh, where is it? Hand lock. There we go. Oh shit, Hearthstone, where are you going? I ain't talking about you. Where are you? I believe it's this one. <laughs> we're gonna make that a little bit bigger for everybody. Not too big, but not too small. Just right. All right. What up, 360 the warrior? Glad to have you in here, man. I just got destroyed by a handlock today. Straight bamboozled. That's what I'm talking about. With Reno being so popular, handlock, uh, handlock isn't seeing a lot of play. That's exactly why I'm running handlock. Is because Reno is so popular. Everybody wants me to run uh, the Reno lock, but I don't want to run Reno lock because everybody else is playing Reno lock. We gotta, we gotta stay off the curve, guys. If we stay on the path. Of what everybody else is playing, we're going to be one of those normal streamers. We don't want to be a normal streamer. We want to be off the wall. Not like Vans, though. Those died out, unfortunately. All right, let's raise this a little bit. Let's raise this so it's like seen, but not too seen, right? There we go. Feels good, man. Bowser. All right. So in the opening hand against Shaman, I'm assuming he's running the aggro variation. So, like... Mistress is of course good. Brand is questionable, but probably not. Normally we'd always keep giant, right? Like you just tap tap bring it on back. Uh, but unfortunately we're not doing that. We're just gonna keep it like this. The War Shack, a crafted Nazoth Shaman deck about a week ago, inspired by your Reno version. <laughs> Dude, that Reno version is so trolly. Like when you when it there comes a time in every player's life when they have the ability to craft such a deck as the Jade Golem, Reno, Nazoth, Control Shaman. There's all. There's always. There. There. There comes a time in every person's life, and um, it's a good time. It's good, and it feels good. The deck is absolutely so much fun to play. What happens if you play Draxus with Brandon? Play you get two Draxuses. The Draxus actually kills the Draxus, giving you a new Draxus. So it's like fresh. He's like refurbished, but the first one never even saw play. So you're like taking a bath right after you took a bath. You're just cleansing the cleanse. Rob, I'm stuck at rank 14. What is this? That is the unfortunate event that happens in every season where uh, you get stuck at a particular rank. We're just gonna go for board control. Oh, baby. So we go, oh, who's in charge? I'm in charge. I think we're gonna go with the charge. We could actually charge him out and kill this Sir Finley, but I don't feel like using coin. <clears throat> hey man, finally got the time to catch you stream. Thanks, Town Punk. Glad you're here, man. And thank you for the follow, by the way. I, I didn't catch that. Um, as in the middle of talking about the Draxus thing. But thank you very much. Welcome to the shack. And I hope to see you for a long time to come. Okay. What do we got going on here? Ooh. This is going to be a hard... This is where, like where the options come in. Like, <laughs> So we could... Trade into the 1-2. Mortal Coil. And play Mistress. We could even tap. But I don't think tapping is too important in this matchup, to be completely honest. We just kind of want to save our health total. So I guess first things first, we're going to Mortal Coil. Okay. So we could tap. And we could even coin the Mistress. So that doesn't even feel that bad. Yeah, I think that's okay. We'll tap last because we're bad. But we actually drew first with Mortal Coil. And the reason I did this is because we can play the, um, the Defender on 4. Like, coining into 5 doesn't do anything. We're not playing Leroy, right? 
So it's just better to keep the four in our hand. Uh, nice to hear the new Jade Spirit follow sound. That's what I'm saying. You guys recommend some of the coolest stuff, right? Like we go ahead, Jade Golem, uh, the the uh, the Jade Spirit. That woohoo! It's just exciting. And when a new follower comes in, it's just the essence of happiness enters the shack for those short, sweet three seconds. Feels good. Feels good. Ah. What up, Wa? How do I even say your name? Every time I look at it, I fuck up. Wasika or Akawa. Uh, <laughs> and you know who I'm talking about, too. You're the only one in chat with the crazy name with a bunch of K's, W's, and A's. <laughs> so this is what I was talking about. The turn four, we're going to Defender of Argus. It makes it look like he's playing a Control Shaman uh, with what he's played, but Control Shaman doesn't run Sir Finley. So unless he's running like a Reno Shaman, but that would be very interesting. I just noticed I'm not the top donator anymore. I'm going to have to fix that soon. Oh, JV. Oh, baby. You always, the competition. Oh, gosh. Doomhammer. The competition is stiff. I think we're just going to go ahead and play the Twilight Drake. Because when we play the Twilight Drake, we're easily going to be able to uh, Faceless Shamble or that shit. And it's just going to be a, an awful time for this Shaman. You seem full of life. Alcohol or wind streak. Um... Neither. I'm just trying to, gotta, you know, we don't have music going because unfortunately we ran out of YouTube uh, money videos uh, because I don't even know why I said money videos. We don't make any money. Anyway, uh, because I've been streaming, there's not a whole lot of time to make YouTube videos off on the side. So uh, no music today. So these can go to YouTube and actually uh, have something to go there. But anyway, yeah, that's why I got to keep it lively. Got to keep it lively. With music, I can kind of just sit back and just kind of head bob, right? Like, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. But unfortunately, that's not the not option today. All right, so we know this is trading here. This is going trading here. Ooh, look at that. Haven't seen that card. That's a brand new card, folks. Freshly baked is what I call this card. Freshly baked. All right. We definitely don't have lethal, and we're definitely not tapping. Um, so this is this is where the um, this is where the patches is gonna come in, right? This is super clutch. Check out this patches play. Oh baby. Oh my God. He never even saw it coming. Never even saw it coming. Anna Kaiawaskinataka. Seems easy enough. Exactly. Got it first shot right there. <laughs> Music isn't needed to have a good stream. Definitely not, but it definitely helps. <laughs> like, once we get to a point where people actually watch because they enjoy my shackism i suppose uh then music isn't needed right we can just play music sometimes not play music sometimes um but normally when people start off on twitch they they, they normally tend to play music uh because it helps out a lot all right so we just have lethal here Boop. Leroy Jink. i don't know what the shaman was doing all game like it just felt like he just didn't do anything or maybe our deck is just so powerful we just like kind of derailed him. But it feels good. Whatever just happened feels pretty nice. It's our first game with Handlock. This is going to be a deck I haven't played in a long time, guys. Um, so just keep in mind, mistakes will be made. So um, for those on Twitch and for those on YouTube comments, please please be generous. Don't, don't be too mean. Don't be too mean. Yep, something like that, but it's not my name. <laughs> Say Ekai. Uh, yeah, Akai? Akai? If you want to call me. Hmm. I see Sakai in your name, so I'm just going to call you Sakai. Because I like Saki, and that's close enough to Sakai. So always a remembrance to alcohol here. Who needs music when you have a Rob? <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, he doesn't have a sub button. Unfortunately, yeah, I don't. We don't have the uh, the follower count yet. Oh, I wouldn't even say the follower count. The average. You're playing uh, Draxus and Combo? You greedy. Of course I am. I've got to be greedy. The reason I'm playing Draxus, though... um is because this is handlock we don't have a lot of healing so i'm almost using uh draxis as a heal um instead what the fuck is this another shaman do we just keep peddler put back the giant because i have no faith that he's actually going to get played so i'll just keep the peddler but yeah we're using the draxis is almost a heal uh, more so than the ability to um because like we could play alexstrasza but alexstrasza is going to set our health to 15 anyway and cost nine mana so might as well play draxis <clears throat> What's your favorite deck to play? Control Warrior doesn't count though. You can't you can't ask me what my favorite deck to play is and then say your favorite deck doesn't count. What what what? You can't do that to me, man. What is that? 
You crazy craze, no Tharzan? You know what? That's a good point. I just feel like he's a little bit too slow. Like I, like I play Tharzan, and it just... That's a damn straight good point. If we're running combo, we need Tharzan. But do we? Do we really? Do we really? Yeah, we do. I'm retarded. We'll change it out in a second. <laughs> we could run it without Tharzan. Just juke people out. Just be like, did he just combo me down without Tharzan? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Wait, Moobot is streaming? I don't know what Moobot's doing. Moobot does what Moobot wants. We're just going to tap. Um, because this guy only hero powered on two. Which means if he's playing a slower deck, I want to throw out this Mountain Giant as ASA. Pay. Uh, no, but Black Lugia. If I would have named a deck besides... Um... Oh, Hellfire is nice. So if I were to name a deck besides... Um, how you'll say um, the Control Warrior. Um, I'd have to pick the Jade Golem Rogue. That's a really fun deck. Haven't you heard? Greed is the ultimate weapon. <laughs> what up, Scuba? How's it going, buddy? What up, Gab? And that's like, what's saying your favorite value card, but not Elven Archer. Exactly. So we could coin Hellfire and just give this guy a really rough time. Uh, but if we coin Hellfire, it's going to make a Molten Giant cost 5, and we have no turn 4 play besides two Faceless Shamblers in our hand, which feels fucking horrible. Um, and we almost have to play a card, right? Because how many cards are in our hand? If we... We have 9 cards. So we can't tap. Mmm. -hmm. Feels bad, man. I guess we just peddler. Mortal Coil. A la mal. But he could be playing Doomhammer version, so like Void Walker is really good. So if we. How you say, Hey, rope, chill out, bro. Ropes coming in, making me play all fast and shit. <clears throat> That's like saying what you're... Okay, I already read that. Rip. Rob, I recently got Tyrion. Should I keep collecting dust for new Legendary or just make a Paladin deck? I mean, Tyrion's like one of the best cards in the game, so I would just keep the Tyrion, man. My face. It hurts. So we Hellfire... Are we Molten Giant? The right play last turn was the Coin Hellfire, by the way, guys. I didn't expect that we would have ripped the 4-drop off the top, but if I would have known Twilight Drake would have generously just made our way to the hand, then Coining Hellfire last turn was the best play. Because now if we Molten Giant, we're going to be taking at least 6 more. Um, and he can actually just trade into the Molten Giant, which just feels terrible. But at least clears his board, right? Unless we just play the Twilight Drake, and then he ignores it, and then we Faceless Shambler the next turn. I just don't like how much damage we're going to be taking. But I think this is right. I don't like it, but it's it's what we got to do. I feel like I played this really bad. Again, haven't played Handlock against Shaman. This is only the second game, so mistakes will be made. Hey, Warshack, I'm back again for today's stream. Thank you, TC. Welcome, man. Glad that you're here. I like playing Shambler on 4, especially with no target. I mean, this is the true value, right? You play the 4-drop 1-1. One, one, doesn't even have taunt. Doesn't even really do anything, but it looks pretty cool, right? He's just like a squiddly old squiddly pops. It's just like, I'm here for you, man. Especially getting two of them kind of suck. But because we got two of them, we can be greedy with the Drake, right? So we just like copy, and then he just has a really rough time if he's playing aggro. My life is yours. Oh, so he, uh, say, man, he's, um, uh, he's, um, uh, he's, um, uh, he's playing the control shaman. And uh, he just set us up for a really nice hellfire. Ooh, is hellfire even needed? Yeah, it is. Okay. Alright, so as long as he doesn't have... I don't know. I'm not really scared of his deck, though. Because we know he doesn't have burst. Maelstrom Portal was really good. Shaman has a hard time dealing one damage, um, besides Maelstrom Portal, that is. So we're just going to throw down the giant, right? Hopefully it lives one turn. We could even tap, too. I just don't want to tap, though, because we're already so, like, low on HP. Not that I'm scared of dying, but just the fact that we're low on HP. So I suppose we'll Dark Peddler first. Um, because we're going to be able to play the Giant on 4 anyway, like, regardless of anything. Mortal Coil, super sick. So now we Giant. 
And we can just coin and kill this 2-1. And the reason I played the giant first is because coining and then playing the card, we're still down a card because the coin counted to the card. So that's why we had to play the giant prior to drawing. Normally, you always want to draw before you play your creatures. But in this situation, it would have cost one more. We would have been fooped. I got the new warrior legend, dust or hold. I would actually dust the new warrior legendary. I don't think he's very good. That's just me. All right, so he used one hex. So I'm going to assume the second giant is going to stick. We actually, there's merit to tapping because we have Draxus, right? So there's like, there's a good, yeah, I, I actually like tapping a lot. So as long as he doesn't have the second hex, these are going to get a lot of value. And then we're just going to drag this on nine. There's no way that we don't. <clears throat> Rob, is Shambler good enough in Arena? Yeah. I mean, I don't play him in my Reno deck because you only have one Drake and one Giant, and those are the cards you want to face with Shambler. So not only do you running two less of those cards, you're running one less Shambler, which means the chances of you drawing those and getting it off are slim, but if you do get it off, it's really good. So it's like, how, how good do you think your RNG is? <laughs> Ow, my face. <laughs> All right, so now we double Shambler. That just, that's, that's devastating. Do we only need to do one Shambler? Because then we could kill this. We can just... Because um, if we Shambler this, and then we swing and kill this... So it's basically, do we Shadow Bolt the 5-4? Well, well, we can actually go without doing that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Well, this, 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 this. No, 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 no. So many possibilities. This seems fine. This is a sizable amount of power. Hey, Rob. Early for your stream today. Thanks, Quill. Thanks for joining in, man. Glad you're here. Merry Christmas, Christmas Eve. Thank you, Dragon Slayer. Merry Christmas, Christmas Eve to yourself as well. Hope everything goes well. Oh, baby. Okay, we lose. Well, actually, don't lose. As long as Rag just doesn't hit face. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So now what do we want to do? Okay, so the plays. We go trade, trade, Draxus, trade. Or we go Siphon Soul, trade, Farseer. But I don't really like that. We're going in, boys. There's no time to wait. It's Draxus' time. I am Draxus. If you don't have an answer, I win the game because I am what's his name? A Draxus. Draxus. He's big and strong and demon like. He's Draxus. He's Draxus. You fear him until you die. I'm late to the stream. No worries, RR. There is a lot at stake here. Uh, that guy's a problem. Alright, that's not that big of a deal. Alright, so let's see what we can do here. Let's see what mojo we can conjure. Siphon Soul. Swinging. Hmm. <laughs> so we're gonna we're we're doing this regardless of anything, right? Like this doesn't change. Now the option we definitely need to hero power, and if we hero power, then we just kill this. But that still gets hit. So we could go. We go Shadow Bolt, then we don't really develop anything. And we definitely need to put a 6-6 six, six on the board. I okay. I think we got this. Next turn we can Taunt and or Heal, as long as he just doesn't have the Burst, baby. Don't have the Burst! Let me live. <clears throat> hey, Warshack, what's your opinion on the pre-built Jade Golem Druid deck? I have all the cards, wanted a second opinion before losing and ranked. <laughs> I'm actually doing all of the deck, oh baby. We need a Shadow Flame. Okay, not too bad. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a video on all of the deck recipes, so. Oh baby. Taking critical damage. 
There's a shadow flame. All right, so how do we want to do this? I really want to kill this and gain HP and kill everything on the board. So check this shit out, fam. What if we... I'd rather have a taunt than summon another 6-6, six, six, guys. That's why I did it this way. All right, we win. <clears throat> Damn it, I misspelled Warshack. <laughs> it even helps you. It's like, is this the person you're trying to communicate with? <laughs> uh, but no worries. Wouldn't the Iceless Fambler, Shambler set up for lethal? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Who is your favorite Hearthstone streamer? If I had to pick a particular dude, like out of all of the dudes, I would pick probably VLPS. That guy's cool. He always has a really good attitude, always upbeat, always friendly, always answers comments, always explains his play, well, most of the time. Um, he doesn't always play the most, like, ridiculous decks, right? So it's not like you're watching him play Shaman all the time. Um, so he, he's just an overall pretty good guy. Oh, so it seems. I've never met him. And every time I, like, message him on Twitter or anything like that, like, if he's, like, you know, at a tournament and he's like, oh, I just made, you know, top eight, you know, trying to push through, or I just made a bad play, I always comment on to him and be like, don't worry, man, don't get tilted, you can keep it going, you're a great player, blah, blah, blah. And then he'll come back and, like, like it, or he'll respond himself, which is actually pretty cool. Um, I think this is fun. Nice singing, Rob. <laughs> Thanks, Town Punk. <laughs> Hey, Warshack. Hey, man. I stopped playing Hearthstone for a couple of months and want to play again, but I feel like I don't know what decks are the best. Um, well, I can direct you to somewhere. Um, here, hold on. I, I, there's this guy, you know, and um, he makes YouTube videos, and every month he comes out with this special video called, uh, I think, what is it called? The Monthly Meta. There it is. Um, or the most popular decks video. And um, in that video, this guy, um, he's, he's pretty cool, I guess. Um, he goes ahead and. Um, he, he talks about what are the most popular decks in Hearthstone, their win conditions, and uh, it breaks down the dust count, and he, he talks about them quite a bit. Um, so I linked you the video in chat, and um, that should help you kind of get your gears back into, like, what are the most popular decks. And the next one, I believe, he makes them at the beginning of every month, so you can expect the next one coming out um, January 1st, uh, which is about a week's time away. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> I can't help but do it. Oh man. Alright, this this Northshire cleric really shuts us down. That one damage a turn. Get goosed. <laughs> no, but seriously, I think the video kinda goes over all the most popular decks. So if you want to see like what 90% of ladder is, um you would just check that out. All right, so we still don't really want to play anything. I don't even mind Shadow Bolting, but if we Shadow Bolt, this is going to cost... Oh, can we tap again? No, we can't tap with coin, right? That's just too many cards. Because right now we have, what, nine? And the next turn's ten. So we can play nothing. Unless we just play the Peddler. If we play the Peddler, he draws. I don't want him to draw. So we do nothing. I uh, advertising? Yo, I took marketing for my major. If I wasn't... If I didn't sell out, I'd be a horrible marketing major, don't you think? You gotta sell out. If we draw Faceless, then we play the Drake. We don't, so we have to play this guy. All right, don't have Shadow Ward Death, please. What does Coining do? Coin Tap? Do I like Coin Tap? Not really. What does Coin do next turn? We'll have six next turn? What are we going to want to play next turn for six? Peddler into Drake? I suppose that's an option. What do you think about Beast Druid? Beast Druid, I think, is pretty good right now. Fuck, he's got it. We can't even coin Shadow Bolt. 
Because this guy gave him 5 HP. That's unfair. He's cheating. He's using cards. Fuck. How do we combat this? Can we tap? Before I tap, let's count how many cards we have. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Boop. Now do we tap? <laughs> I don't think so. I want to play our shit. But it just... It, okay. If we play cards, like Mistress of Mixtures, he can attack with his North Shire Cleric, draw a card, and that card could be a, another um, uh, a Shadow Word Death or an Entomb or something. So we're not going to do that. What are you thinking about using Sergeant Sally and Handlock and running double PO? I thought about it. Um, but I just chose not to do that our first time around. Maybe our second time. Our third time. Maybe fourth time. Could be fifth time. But we're not running that yet. Oh, baby. I want a Shadow Bolt. So this is where the coin is going to come in super clutch mode. Because we need a taunt. So we're actually going to be able to do this. Unless we want to play Drake instead. But then we don't give it taunt. And then he can just go face. But we know he doesn't have burst. Max, he would have it six. Maybe he has Dragon Fire Potion. Ooh, we got to play around Dragon Fire Potion. So we're going to hit this. Kill this. And that gives him four. And that brings us down to no. No. No, sorry, Luba. Mm -mm. Okay, so we play around Dragon Potion like this. Mm -hmm. All right, Rip Rob, 2016. The game's not over yet. We we just we we're turning up. We just played our giant. He got he's finally stuck on the board one turn. We played Azur Drake. As long as he doesn't entomb this, we still in it to win it. You're you're counting me out too early. The Shack strikes back. No, but using the Sergeant Sally double PO makes sense. But unfortunately, we still have to find a way to fit in Tharzin in the deck. So, we still got to work on that. Oh, there he goes with the heal. He goes with the draw. Shadow Bolt looks pretty nice. Ooh. Ooh. So, Shadow Bolt swing. And that's going to put us at three. I don't want to tap. We're just too low. We're just too low. And I guess Shambler. I mean, but then I'm going to want to play Bran. I'm going to be too greedy with this. I'm too greedy. All right, let's get out. Let's, 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 this is happening regardless. Tap or not, that happens. Now let's look. Let's look for the future. We want to say Bran for Peddler and Defender. We definitely don't want to Bran and Defender that. There's not enough mana to do that. So I guess, theoretically, we could tap and then play the Mistress. Or we could just play the mistress in one peddler, but I think Bran. Oh baby. Alright. Sorry guys, I'm not looking in chat. These turns are quite difficult. Uh don't you love curve? Eh, I mean Dragon Priest. <laughs> uh yeah. Rob, you gotta admit you're only playing a worse warlock. Hey man, don't come in here calling on playing a worse warlock, you know. We're 2-0 and currently. It can't be that bad. And we're playing in Legends. So, you know, all these people are trying to... It's the end of the month. Everybody's, you know, trying their little hearts out. Like, gotta hit top 100 Legend because I'm gonna be a competitor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy needs to die. So, how do we do that? That <clears throat> We currently have 6, 7, 8. But then these guys go to one, so that doesn't feel good. And then if we hit that, that's going to die anyway, and that's going to hit there. So that just feels really bad. So I guess we could... Ooh. Ooh, baby. That's bad, but it's good. Can we even do that? Is that a possibility? This seems so wrong, but I like it. Ooh. I don't know. That was probably really silly, but I liked it. Everything looked cool, right? We cleared the board. Leroy came out. Oh, baby. That's a big dragon. Mm-hmm. What can we use to kill that? Siphon Soul right off the top. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, Shadow Flame. That is not... That is not what we need to succeed here, boys. Mm-hmm. So, I guess we could go Faceless? We have Double Faceless. That's a Taunt Wall of Joy. Do we just go Taunt Wall of Joy? Or do we go, like, Bronzebeard into Peddler? No, 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 no. Taunt Wall of Joy. 
We build a wall, boys. We build it, and they will come. <laughs> Finally here. Sorry for being late. No worry, Tat. Rob, you're dead. The warlock will join Harambe. Hey, now, Black Lugia. No one has faith, man. No one has faith. We just need a power overwhelming. We can bring this back with the Shadow Flame. You guys just don't see it. That we have four chances to get power overwhelming with Bran and the Dark Peddler. We have the ability. Ooh. Wow. Interesting. Ooh. Ah. E what? Who said we were going to lose? You who said? Why you being a goose? Guys are being a goose. I said goose him like one minute after you thought I count I counted countered you? Counted you? Oh, no worries. Double mind blast, watch out. <laughs> Just Bran Argus? No 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 no. Bran Argus is the casual play. We don't casually play that. Oh baby, he played operative. He could have stolen our Draxus. So Bran Twilight Peddler? I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. No 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 no. Bran Peddler. Mm-hmm. 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 If you build a wall, they will come. <laughs> oh, baby, that's a big dragon. Rob 2016. <laughs> I thought this was Warshack. Turns out this is a Trump stream. <laughs> what up, Tig? Why are you making those sounds, Rob? I'm scared. Well, you gotta... You gotta keep it fun and interactive, boys. Alright, what do we got going on here? This is a... Uh, he's being a little of a frisky dingo right here. We can't allow frisky dingoes. We're tapping. We're bringing it on back. Mm-hmm. Farseer. So I suppose we could go, well first actually we play this guy, because this guy is just going to generate a card. Now, that card seems pretty good. We go Sir Finley and start rebuilding. We rebuild that health with like armor, but I like the power overwhelming. Because then we can make the trade here and keep this 6-2 alive. But do we even care about keeping the 6-2 alive? Because if we keep the 6-2 alive, he just holy novas and all of our hard work and power overwhelming are gone. Everything's gone. Can't allow such shenanigans to happen. So we do this. We're not going to overextend into any shenanigans, boys. No shenanigan overextensions. You can't outvalue this priest, Rob. Don't tell me what I can and can't do, man. If you don't believe, you can't succeed. Don't let your memes be dreams, man. You should play that good old fun and interactive shop. And there's the Holy Nova. That's what we played around, boys. This is what we play around. I really want to tap. How greedy is that? But I also want to soul fire this. But we could just play. We could. We could just do this right here. Keep the dragon nice and nice and healthy, baby. Feed him. Feed this Twilight Drake. He needs to be. He needs to stay nice and strong. Mm -hmm. We just need Draxus and we win. Where the fuck are you, Draxus? Do we need to sing this Draxus song again? <laughs> Draxus, where are you, friend? Take me to the demon realm. Alright, Shadow Ward Pain. Shadow Ward Pain. Okay, you can't kill four attack minions because, you know, you can't. Face? Oh, you don't have a dragon in your hand. Feels bad, man. Oh, fucking Device, whatever the fuck your name is. You done fucked up, man. Oh, can saw me just act natural. Don't discard PO. Okay. Should we just tap, man? We're at we be at 4 H we, ah, 4 HP. It gives us a yeah, we're tapping. Mm-hmm. That's not Draxus. Alright. We basically had one turn to live or two turns to live anyway. We need Draxus, man. Where is our demon elder lord? 
our, our savior, our, our happy-go-lucky. Talon Priest ain't helping you, dog. We bobbing and weaving. What you gonna do? Oh, he, he could have Sack Pack. What a little goose. He could have the Sack Pack. Oh, man, this... Oh, baby, are we are we comfortable at 1 HP? Are we comfortable at 1 HP? I think we are. Let's calculate lethal, though, because this is going to be... I think we might have it, right? Because this is 5, that's 6, that's 11, 15. We are one off lethal. Are you fucking goosing me? Are you goosing me right now? We're at 1 HP, boys. All right. Do you have one damage, Priest? We were off by one, boys. We were off by one. Does he have it? Does he have it? Oh, baby! He doesn't got it! He doesn't got it! We in it to win it! We in it to win it! Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about! Mm-hmm. Dun-dun-dun. dun 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 Da da dun dun dun. Bum, ba bum bum bum. All right. Well, this concludes our our first deck testing of the handlock. I hopefully all of you enjoyed. Um, I'll catch you in the next episode, of course. I'm Robert Warshak, and happy whatever the hell day it is.